yourself. And then you get out of college, and you come and you work here. How much did they first pay you to give up on your dreams? 27 grand a year. And when were you going to stop and come back and do what makes you happy? Good question. Let's just take a look at this. The, the goal here is to produce... Let me move my microphone. Okay, so the goal here is to book... I mean, most people can, can make a very good living. This comes from the, from the philosophy that 1063, that I've trained my agents for years, buy 10 direct mail A leads, fresh A leads, okay? Buy 10 leads, you'll book six appointments on average, and you'll write three applications. Each app will be about a thousand bucks. In many cases, you'll write two apps with one lead, though, because the husband and the wife both will want coverage. So that's how, that's when we come up with that 10, 6, 3, about 50%. Okay, if you can run 50%, you can make a lot of money in this industry. I believe you can get to 80 to 90% if you're coachable and you're working with the right coach. So let's take a look at my screen here. you got 10 appointments, understanding leads. We're talking about the direct mail, which is the gold standard lead. We're not talking about social media, Facebook, TikTok, all that junk that's out there. We'll get to that, and you can see the difference. But in this case, direct mail, A leads. You got B leads, which I said before. The A leads, again, are fresh. Six to ten weeks, fresh, only sold to you, exclusive for that IMO for the first six to 12 weeks. Okay, B leads. They're, again, going to pick up about the 12th week, and they're going to be 12 weeks to, to, to uh, six months. Then they're going to drop to C leads. Okay, six leads are, are, are usually 12 months or, or longer um, uh, in age. Okay, and IPL and our IMO, that means incomplete phone lead. That means it wasn't a direct mail lead. It was a postcard that was mailed, and they, they had an 800 number to call back in, but they didn't complete the, the phone interview. Those are very inexpensive leads, uh, a couple of bucks or whatever with IMO. And, again, some people called in, got distracted, hung up, but they still might be interested. Many of them are not. Maybe many of them want to just be taken off the list. The next thing is social media. Now, you can tell social media, third party, and what I mean by third party is third party lead vendors. These people are in the business to what? Make money off leads. Remember, the IMOs generally are not. They're looking to sell insurance, so they give you a good deal on a, on a lead. Uh, you still got to pay for it. It's not free. But if you're going to buy the A-leads, they're the most expensive lead, usually between $41 and $75 a piece. Okay, now social media, again, different, different quality lead. Uh, you have 3 to 9 months. You have 10 to 18 months. You've got 19 to 36 months. Let's move on. Okay, so let's talk about lead conversion ratios. Once you understand the lead ratio, you can control your income. It's simply nothing more than a mathematical equation. So getting back to the A leads, direct mail, gold standard. Uh, if you bought 15 leads, the conversion ratio is two out of three. It means you, you're going you're gonna to book two appointments out of three leads. Average cost weekly would be 615 bucks. That's if you know that's around forty-five dollars a piece. You can get out your calculator. I don't have one in front of me right now to figure out exactly what it is. Now B leads. Again, to get the same number of appointments, we're saying over here, if you book 15 appointments, if you, I'm sorry, if you buy 15 appointments, you're going to get, a, if you buy 15 leads, you're going to get 10 appointments, okay? Now, over here, if you buy 60 B leads, you're going to get 10 appointments. It's a one to a six to one ratio, so six leads, one appointment, and there you're going to spend about 360. C leads, again, you're going to buy 100 leads. Again, the goal is, what I said earlier, is to book 10 appointments. Now, the top producers who have cash flow to business and, and uh, are making money can afford to work less to get the same results. You can get the same results as a top producer, but you're going to work harder. Basically, you're going to spend less money when you start out, but you're going to work harder. C leads, again, you're going to buy 100 of those. You're going to get a 10 to 1 ratio, 10 leads, 1 appointment, and you're going to spend about 200 bucks. The incomplete phone leads, 50 leads, you're going to have a 5 to 1 ratio, and you're going to spend $150. I don't like the IPL leads, but you can try them, okay, if your IMO has them. Now, let's get over to third party. Social media leads, 3 to 9 months, 70 leads is, going to, is what it takes. That's the conversion rate. That's why I say success in, in a leads-based opportunity is nothing more than a mathematical equation. If you understand the the um, the lead ratio, what how the lead converts, how old based on based on its age, it doesn't matter if you buy aged leads. You know how many you're going to have to buy to get the results you're looking for, on average. 
not necessarily week to week, maybe not even month to month, but over you know a quarter, over six months, over a year, these ratios will always work. Law of large numbers will always work in your favor. Law of low numbers will never be reliable. So, and I've been working this business for a long time, 15 years, and these numbers are dead on, you know, year to year. Okay? You may have a bad week. You may have a bad month. So you can't go based on that. Okay, so three to nine months, 70 leads. Your conversion ratio is seven leads to book one appointment. You're going to spend 235 bucks. You get out as far as 10 to 18 months, okay, order a lead. You're going to need 200 of them. You're going to get 20 leads to book one appointment. You'll spend 335 bucks. Now, get a little further out, 19 to 36 months. You're going to buy 300 leads. That's a 30 to 1 ratio. You're going to spend about the same amount of money. The difference is, again, the only difference, the only reason why you and I would pay more money for leads is compressing time frames, right? Saving time. I can set my week up in far less time. Right, I can I can get the, my leads on a Monday. I can make my dials, do my texting, set my appointments up for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday in probably an hour to two hours. I'm done. My appointments now are, are set up for the week. I've got my 10 to 15 appointments, and then all I do is show up and run my presentations. Whereas a guy or a girl spending you know, buying social media leads or going over here and spending buying the C leads, they're going to buy hundreds of leads. You're going to be working every single day until you get or until you get to 10 appointments set for the week, 10 to 15 appointments, right? A top producer doesn't want to do that. They don't need to do that. They can afford to pay more for a lead to get better results, take less time to set their week up. It's all about lifestyle. It's about owning your income, owning your time by owning your business, your own business. But you work up to that. You start out, with, if you were my agent, I would tell you, uh, I don't like social media leads. So I would, I would and I, we do use a third party vendor, which those leads are lesser quality because they're in the business of, of profiting from leads. So they sell them to a lot of agents. Right, but we still book appointments with those leads on a regular basis. We mix them in with the better quality leads that we get from our own IMO. That's the mindset that I hope you're getting from this video. It's about the process as much as it is about the script or your presentation. It's making sure you're doing that. You have the mindset that gives you the correct expectations, so you know, so you don't get discouraged or depressed and thinking you get you you got ripped off. You really understand the leads. Look at the print. Ask the right questions. You won't be in this situation okay you'll 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 know what leads you're buying and what the conversion rate is and how many you need to get to get x results and you'll be off and running and then as you get better because again like if you're my agent i would tell you early on even if you had the money i wouldn't recommend you buy a leads i want you to have more swings at bat because you need volume in early on to get good at the process the presentation phone script once you get an appointment, how you go, how, you know, virtual or face to face, going out to the home, getting them on, getting them on the camera virtually, and and how do you do that and get good at that presentation? It's two things we're learning, right? We're pedaling, we're pedaling with two feet. We're learning how to do a presentation once we get the per, the person to book an appointment. Before that, we're learning the process of booking appointments, the right script, how to how to make sure we're posturing ourselves correctly, not begging you for an appointment, making them want an appointment. So you're learning two things. So the more you do that that it's all a learned skill there's not certain person not anybody that's watching this video they cannot learn this the more you do it the better you're going to get at it and as you get better you'll make more sales you'll put more money in the bank and your lead budget will increase and then you move from from working uh, maybe c and b leads to working b and a leads so i would be buying a's I'd be on, I'd get myself, you know, 10 to 15 A leads a week, and I'd mix in some B leads to give myself enough leads to make sure I'm booking my 10 to 15 appointments for the week. And that's what top producers do, okay? So what should you be asking your coach or your mentor? You want to know how old the leads are. What is the source of the lead? Is it a direct mail lead? Do I get a printed copy of the lead? Do I get an Excel file? Do I get kick in the rear? <laughs> Whatever it is, what's the cost? What's my cost per lead? That's what you should be asking, right? And I'm going to put on the screen a sample of the of the the gold standard, a direct mail lead. That's what you should be getting if you are if you are uh, buying direct mail leads. Very high intent lead because they have to go through a lot in order to get that lead filled out, stuck put stuck stuck in an envelope, mail it back. Okay. So here's my final thoughts for this video. Uh, first of all, this is a business. You have to invest time and money in order to succeed. There's nothing free in life that's worth, that has any value. Okay, hope that helps. Any questions, leave me a comment. 
Appreciate your support. Look, as I said always in these videos, I know that watching these videos is an investment of your time. I appreciate that. I'm grateful for it. Please do me a favor. Leave me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you want me to talk about next. Yeah, I'm happy to do so, right? And God willing, I'll see you in the next video. See ya. Hi, my name is Steve, and this is Angela. And we're making a living 100% virtually, anytime, anywhere. While making a difference. Living the dream. While we travel the country. And we can help you do the same. Come along with us. We're grateful you're here. Subscribe to the channel and like the videos. Bye. Goodbye.